up for that jersey. I saw Penny Sewell uh, was, was trying to get that, that creamsicle from you. He's the only one. I would have loved to have given If it was any other jersey, I would have given it to him right there. Penny's my dog. Um, I told him I'd send him a regular one, but that's, that's my first C. That's my first creamsicle, so um, I had to keep that one. That's going to get framed? Yeah. I think it's might be in the process of getting framed right now. I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I think as far as grading ourselves, um, you know, sustaining blocks, you know, for me it's like did my guy make the tackle or not in like a run play, you know, just staying connected, finishing a block. Um, but for me that's a big one. It's just like don't, don't let your guy make the tackle. Um, that's how I grade. I don't know how the other guys do, but um, that's what I do. You have mentioned the pass protection has been pretty good all season long, even against uh, Detroit. But what's, what's holding up the running game, do you think? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think, and I hate, to, I hate to say it like that, but I think it's just, you know, a combination of everything, a lot of little things, like one guy, one guy missing here and there. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's all of us, you know, being off at the same time. It's like, oh, one play, one play is me, one play is Hainsey, one play is Cody, you know, wh whatever, that, whatever that order may be. Um, you know, it's just, just a matter of getting all on the same page and, um, you know, getting on the same page with our running backs and stuff um, and, you know, getting it to click. Does that running game have to come come around before you guys can really explode? I know Baker says you guys should be scoring a lot more points than you have, but is that yeah. maybe one thing that if you had that that, that side of it, 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 it opened things up? Yeah, I, I think so. I think because, I mean, that's like a big part of our offense, you know, now. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of play action and stuff off of it, and you got you got to have those runs first before you hit the play. You know, you can't just go out and be like, yeah, we're going to run play action when they've never seen the runs, you know. Um, so I think that is, uh, you know, that is a big part of it, and we need to get that going to get the whole, you know, the whole ship rolling. Baker had said that you guys need to get pissed off as an offense. Um, do you feel that? Uh, what are your thoughts? On yeah, that? I mean that's that's totally that's totally fine. You know, playing I think it's just playing with an edge, you know, playing playing with a chip on your shoulder, and and you know, not being not being the one to like take the shove at the end of the play. You know, be, being the one giving the giving the last shove or the last push. Um, but yeah, 100. percent Who's the nastiest guy on the line? Luke. Luke by far. Yeah. You said that very quickly. He's an that asshole. Play. No, he's, I love, I love, I love him to death. But he, he's just, you know, he's, he's always had that edge. You know, I think coming from, you know, his, his path to where he is now, it gives him that chip on his shoulder. Um, but yeah, definitely Luke. Yeah, Ryan Jensen was always that guy to get under your skin. Is, yeah. Is it Luke now? I think so. And I think he's, I think he's even toned it down a little bit from what he can, what he can do, what he can be, um, just because he's still getting settled in a little bit. So. We'll probably see it here in a couple of weeks, you know, when he gets comfortable. Is having a pet bunny just been like a cover for that? Cletus, yeah. yeah. Cletus is something else. I've, I've met Cletus a few times, and he's, he's wild. How does Luke play nasty in what ways? Just that finish, you know, he's always had that to him. Um, he's the one that, that always gets that last shove in. You know, he's not going to be the one to take it. Um, but it's just it's fun to see, you know. Um, you'll be doing something, and all of a sudden you see him flying out of nowhere, like dumping somebody over a pile. The, you know, um, but no, he is, he, you know, it's, it's great seeing that from him, um, and hopefully it'll rub off on all of us. What makes Cletus so wild? What? What makes Cletus so wild? You don't I can't tell the story. I can't tell the story on camera. It's bad. I can't really? tell it on camera. It, it involves Hainsey. It involves Hainsey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think that a lot of the stuff, you know, a lot of stuff that, that Dave's having us do is all, it's all, oh, I don't know how to say it. It's all off of like the, the, the main concept, the main stuff. It's all off of that. So, you know, it's not like we're getting these crazy, th you know, they're like he's, it's not like we're coming in on a, on a Tuesday and be like, this is what we're doing this week. You know, it's just, it's just little stuff, you know, like little, little uh, tweaks here and there. Um, so I think, I think in some cases less is more, um, you know, slow is fast, whatever, however you want to think of it. But um, no, I think, you know, I, I've loved working with Dave so far, and it's been, you know, he's awesome, and I think, um, I think he's pretty dialed in. Tristan, uh, we're doing a story on uh, Tim Jaraki. Talk about what you ever think about what all involved in getting you guys organized, uh, playing a home game, and then maybe going on the road the next week. All the time. I mean, doing what Tim does. You know, I mean, my mom like texts Tim a question. She's asking, my mom's asking me stuff. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> She'll text Tim, and um, just being able to. Um, coordinate everything that Tim does is, is incredible. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> Bake was back there. I'm sorry. Um, but no, Tim is, Tim is great. You know, the, with, with everything that he sets up, any questions we have, um, any time really, you know, we text him and, and, you know, he gets it dialed in. Seems like he's the man for, for all answers, right? For everything, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, appreciate it. What are you seeing from the Falcons? They kind of revamped their defense. Yeah. What do you think about that matchup? Yeah, I think it's going to be great all across the board. I mean, they got. Their D line is pretty pretty talented. They got you know they got David from the Saints. You know they got um, Clay's Campbell. Um, you know all the Bud Dupree. Obviously you can't you know 97 like it's gonna be you know they're they're pretty stout up front. Um, so it's gonna be I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great matchups across the board. I think they're gonna try and get us a lot of one on ones. Um, and so, you know we got we got to win those battles. You like having those kind of competitions against the top tier talent. Yeah, hundred percent. That's 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 what you that's why you play the game. You know, um, it's it's fun getting that getting that level of competition. You know, for for everyone across the league, week in week out. You know, you're not you're not. There's no there's no slaps in this league. You know, everyone everyone's here for a reason. Everyone plays ball hard. Um, so getting getting to, getting to have these matchups every week is is great. For a guy like Campbell, has so much length. Like gosh, like he gets his hands on you. Just, yeah. What a problem that is. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, he's he's kind of he's been a, a force in this league for a long time. Um, and and um, I think he uses his length to, to um, his advantage. You know, when he's inside, whether you know he's on the tackle or guard, um, you know that that plays a big role in his, his game. So, um, you know, we all got to know what we're in for with him um, and, and all of them across the board. So uh, it's gonna be fun. All right, that's all for Tristan. Thanks, Tristan. Thanks, Tristan. Appreciate it.